Welcome to Project Revelation. There was a document that is circulating right now. It's called the Wilson Memo, is what, how you can find it online. Admiral Wilson meets with this scientist and they have this discussion, oddly enough, at special projects at EG&G. And I, if I remember, the document is from 2001. I'm telling everybody right now, it's real. They meet at EG&G special projects. In 1989, they, they stumble into a problem. This happens, they put the technology away and then they bring it back out and see if material science has caught up and if they can make any progress. So this document kind of talks about this process. So this guy's an admiral and he says, I, sh I found out about your SAP, your special access program. I need to know about it. And he's going to a, a, a private part of industry and he is denied access. Check it out. I'm telling you that that is an actual correct, that is a leak. This all plays out like a spy movie for sure. This allegedly leaked document records a conversation between two individuals, Admiral Wilson and Eric W. Davis. But who is Eric W. Davis? Dr. Eric W. Davis is the Chief Science Officer of Earth Tech International and the Institute for Advanced Studies at Austin and he is the owner and chief executive slash chief scientist of Warp Drive Metrics which does consulting and contracting for the Department of Defense. He is also a professor in the early universe, cosmology, and strings group at the Center for Astrophysics, Space Physics and Engineering Research at Baylor University in Waco, Texas. His research specializations and interests include breakthrough propulsion physics for interstellar flight, interstellar flight science, beamed energy propulsion, advanced space nuclear power and propulsion, directed energy weapons, future and transformational technology, general relativity theory, quantum field theory and elementary particle physics, condensed matter physics, quantum gravity theories, experimental quantum optics, and SETI contact, and xenoarchaeology. Eric Davis is an interesting individual to say the least. He works on advanced propulsion systems and teleportation. In addition to that, he is a student of cosmology, and he also studies something called xenoarchaeology. Now remember what I said at the beginning of this, that cosmology is at the root of this deception. Xenoarchaeology is a branch of xenology dealing with extraterrestrial cultures. It's only a hypothetical form of archaeology, but it exists. The field is concerned with the study of the material remains to reconstruct and interpret past lifeways of alien civilizations. Xenoarchaeology is not currently practiced by mainstream archaeologists due to the lack of any material for the discipline to study. It just left a seed in my mind. I think at least one of them was part of an archaeological dig. So it's old something one at least one of them is old i don't know if it was the one i worked on but i remember something to do with an archaeological dig let's go back to the top secret conversation between davis and admiral wilson admiral wilson and eric davis are talking in the car in the back parking lot of the eg and g building this conversation is pretty weird they talk about crashed and retrieved UFOs that came with alien bodies. Wilson is trying to figure out where the recovered spaceships are being held. Davis will only tell Wilson that a popular private contracting company has the material. Eventually, he tells him that this private contractor was reverse engineering something that was found years ago and they believed it could fly not only in the air, but in space, in water, and it could even traverse dimensions. They believed it was not of this earth. What separates these from anything else that we have in our current inventory is quite simple. There's five observables that associate, when you look at something as a UAP, unidentified aerial phenomena, as being truly unique. That's instantaneous acceleration, hypersonic velocity, low observability, 
Transit medium travel, the ability to operate in multiple environments or domains, and last but not least, in, in the vernacular, would be anti-gravity. The core of, of a lot of the people in there was really about how to exploit disclosure because it's coming. And that's the technology and it's kind of like the history of who we are and where we're going, but it's also how do we tell people about it and how do we get people to understand because it's, it's complicated, you know, so. So this clip was taken from a mini documentary that I just dropped um, a little while ago. It's called The Pastor's Guide to the UAP slash UFO topic. I really want to encourage you to watch that whole mini documentary. It's only about a half hour long from the beginning to the end because you will start to see this agenda coming to life and it really outlines what we can expect to come out of disclosure. I'm going to leave it right here. God bless.